Hi, I'm Daryl Preeb, and welcome to the Photoshop Basic Skills Series. This is the first tutorial in a series on Photoshop Basic Skills techniques. And today I'm going to be using a levels adjustment layer to correctly set the white to black tonal range of a photograph. Uh, this adjustment will work in Adobe Photoshop or in Photoshop Elements. One of the great advantages of digital photography is that we get to see the results of our work, of our photographs, right away. But a disadvantage is that almost every photograph needs some sort of digital darkroom adjustment, either to set the white balance or the tonal range or remove a color cast or something else. So we can do this fairly easily once we know the right techniques. The picture we're going to be working with is a picture of an apartment building on the corner of a piazza in a small hilltop, a hilltop Italian town called Orvieto. Uh, this town is in the Umbria region of the central Italy and I was fortunate enough to be able to visit there last summer and see some of the beautiful places in the wonderful country of Italy. So this uh, picture, if you look at it, you'll see it has a rather pleasing composition, but the tonal range I would describe as more muted or flat. Uh, it simply doesn't have a, a snap and a sparkle to it that I would like to have. So here's how we're going to adjust that. We're going to use a layer. Uh, so we want our layers palette to show up here. And if you don't have that visible, you're going to go up to your window and go down to Layers and click on it so that a Layers window shows up. And the layer we're going to use is an adjustment layer. So down here in this half black, half white circle, we can click and see a, all the different types of adjustment layers. And we're going to use the Levels Adjustment Layer here. So click on that. And that brings up our Levels Adjustment Layer window. So let's take a look at what's in this window. First off, there is a histogram in the middle. A histogram is a visual representation of the tones ranging from black through the grays over to the pure white. And there are 256 tones ranging from 0 up to 255. Um, so this is going to enable us to adjust and properly set the black to white tonal range in our picture. If we look at this particular histogram, you can see that the tones in this picture are primarily in the darker ranges up through the mid-tones here. And there's not very much here at all in the, the brighter era tones up to the a little bit of white tone right down here. That would be this sky area up here. So we're going to need to reset this and come up with a more pleasing picture. To do that, uh, Photoshop conveniently provides us with a black slider, a gray slider, and a white slider. And these sliders, if you click on them, correspond to these input level numbers here. Clicking on the gray slider shows us the mid level, and the black slider at zero shows the black level. Um, what we're going to do is to adjust these by simply, and I'm going to move this levels layer down a little bit now. I think the part you need to see is still visible. And if we click and drag this black slider up, we see that the picture starts to darken. The problem is, how much should we drag it? That's clearly too dark, but where's the right amount? If we drag the white slider in, we see increasing white tones in the image, but where again is the right amount? That's too much, but is that right or there? Where do we stop? It simply isn't obvious. So here's the trick to doing this correctly. We use the Alt, or on a Mac it's the Option key, and you hold down the Alt key, and then click and hold on the white triangle. You can see the areas in the image that are pure white, as we drag it to the left, you'll begin to see some dots of white appearing and some other colors in there as well. These dots represent tones, in, pixels in the image that are turning to pure white. So what we want to see, if I let go, 
if we want to see, what we want to see is some white tones here in the gray or the muted tones of the building. All right, so let's go back and see. Here we have a few showing up. If we go too far, we see quite a number of pixels turning to white. We don't want to do this. It's going to dramatically change our picture, and uh, we're going to lose pixel information. What we want to see is just a few of the tones in the center area. There we go. Turning white, and that's going to give us some white highlights here throughout our image. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing with the black slider. First you press and hold the Alt or Option key. You left click on the black slider and slowly move it to the right. Now very quickly you see an awful lot of pixels showing up. Uh, although these pixels are in color, that's simply the RGB information, red, green, blue. What we're really doing is turning all those pixels to pure black. So, whoa, we have to be very careful. Let's go back and slide it till just a few of them show up. There we go. Just a few pixels show up, then we let go. Now what we've done is we've added some black uh, to white tonal range to the picture to give it a more pleasing tonal balance, and it'll add a little snap and sparkle to the image. Our uh, last step would be to adjust the gray slider. Now, unfortunately, we cannot use the Alt key because too many tones would be... Uh, showing up. So we have to slide this very carefully. If we move this gray slider to the right, there's a larger area in the histogram of black tones, so we're darkening the picture. If we slide it to the left, there's a larger area over here of tones that are mid-tone up to white, so the picture gets lighter. And uh, here is our numerical setting. Remember, one is the midpoint we started at. And so we want to make our picture slightly lighter, maybe about 104, just to give it a little lightening overall. You want to make very small changes. And remember, these are powerful changes. So let's click OK. Now, we have used an adjustment layer, so there's some terrific advantages to doing that. Uh, the first is we can simply, if we don't like what we've done, we can take our adjustment layer, click, drag it into the trash can, and it is gone. Now, we actually liked what we did, so we're going to bring it back. But we certainly can eliminate uh, an adjustment layer if we don't like what we've done. We can see the benefit of what we've accomplished by turning off the visibility button. Now we're seeing the picture as it originally was, unretouched. Turning on the adjustment layer, and we can see we've added a nicer tonal range to the image. If we don't like the amount of tonal change we've made, we can double click on this little black and white adjustment layer icon. Double clicking brings back our levels adjustment layer and we can readjust any levels we would like to. But I like what we have so far so I'm going to click cancel. You can now see with the level layer off and the level layer on the amount of improvement we've brought to the image uh, just by using a levels adjustment layer and this is non-permanent changes. We can always change or alter them or go back to our original picture at any time we like. That concludes this tutorial on using a levels adjustment layer in Photoshop.